Welcome back to the channel. My name is Abon. We are back with Football Manager 2021 and Eastern Resurgence 2 with Stalwart Bucharest. And today we have our final two games before we split into the playoff group and the relegation group. As it stands, we're in third place, three points behind the leaders Argus with our game still to play. We're against Crayover today, the team that are just a point ahead of us in second. Uh, and the other game that we're going to be playing in today's video is against the Ocelot Glashi, who are in mid-table at the moment. So hopefully after these two games, we will still be in that top six and we will progress into that um, playoff group to uh, maybe get promotion to the uh, to the first division. You know, hopefully we can get back-to-back -back promotions. It's going to be tough, but... We'll see what we can do. If you're enjoying the series, do drop a like down below, leave comments, and if you haven't done so already, or if you're new, do subscribe and turn on notifications. I usually say it at the end of every video. I should really be saying it at the start because, you know, not everyone makes it to the end of the video. And if I say it at the start, you're more likely to subscribe because you're more likely to hear it. So from now on, I'll be saying it at the start and at the end. Anyway, on with the video. And last episode was um, a cracking win at home against Gloria Bazal. Uh, Maximovic, our new midfielder, on his debut, scored four goals. And he got a 10 out of 10 on his debut. He's not going to have a better match than that. It's all downhill from there for him. But a, a fantastic 5-0 win at home against Gloria. Really, really good performance. And uh, yeah, two games to go before we uh, split. There's nothing else to go through off camera. We'll jump straight into the first of two matches today. I think we do have a bit of an injury. So we will see what we can do. It's Nagoyscu, the right midfielder, who is unavailable for today's game. So we are going to go with Florian Rajdan as our right winger. We have Malayale and Becha back from their uh, respective suspensions. So we will bring both of those back in. I think we'll put Malayale onto the bench. Uh, Betch is going to start in place of Parfion at right back. Uh, Pastronel, again, not quite fit to return. And Raichu also not fully fit. So I think this will be the um, the 18 players that we're using. Uh, we do need to put a youngster in there somewhere. So I think that will be uh, Malayale. He's going to replace Nikolai. And I'm going to swap Kostash and Malayale around. Uh, we're going to give a debut to Angel Roos today, our centre-back on loan from Plapeni. Uh, he's right-footed, he's three stars, he's 18, so we're going to give him his debut today. Hopefully he'll have as good a debut as Maximovic did, that would be nice. Anyway, the match is underway, let's see how this first match goes in today's double live com. Already we've moved up to a positive, by having possession, uh, we've got a free kick to defend here, 18 minutes in, and it is Cryova with it, and Helena with the shot. And it's gone in. Uh, it was a good free kick, actually. Mushat did not get to it. And uh, Crayover take a 1-0 lead at Stower Stadium. It's uh, Universitaria Crayover, I think they're called. There's, I think there's a couple of teams by that name, which is a little bit confusing. But the away team lead 1-0. Uh, we don't have a throw in here, though, for Draryu. Can we get an, a, a nice sort of instant reply here? We're only about a minute or so after that goal. And here is Kostash. And he's found Rajdan. Here's Maximovic. And Ispas has a good shot at goal. And it is 1-1. It's a nice quick equaliser. A swift reply. And Maximovic, who scored four in last uh, game, turns provider for this one. Setting up Ispas for that equalising goal. And uh, yeah, we bounce back almost immediately from that goal. Rajdan to Maximovic. And it's a through ball for Ispas. It was onside and fires it past the goalkeeper. Nice play shot. Nice finish as well. Wallace wins the head. But it goes to Angelina. Here's Baton. On the left hand side now and a good tackle there by dean betcher and is it going to keep it in play he is very good defending by the uh by the defender but the right back slash center back he can play in both his malayale goes over the top and ispas is going to get to this first can he make it two no he can't it's a good save by the goalkeeper although ispas did fire it pretty much straight at him can we get anything from the corner no we can't it, I, i'm not going to say his name <laughs> that's too long here's tudor and Tudor looking for a cross. He's taken it past Angelina, but he does well to, to win possession back and puts it out for a throw. It's been a good game so far, actually. Been a, you know, quite a good sort of physical game. Header away by Kostash from the corner. Here's Shaim Tudor, who is uh, on loan again this season, of course. Uh, he did well at the end of last season. Not been too much in the goals this time around. I think he's got two or three. Here's Maximovic and Ispas. And I don't know how that was off target. That should have been on target, if you ask me. Malayale to Maximovic. Here is Rajdan. And doesn't quite find Ispas there. Interception by the defender. Angelina uh, looks for Baton and finds him. Here's Payagbara. And Malayale oh, doesn't quite win it. And it's he's allowed Payagbara to shoot. And it's a lead again for Karova. They retake it 2-1 now. This has been a good battle between two 
you know, teams aspiring for promotion. It's been a really good match so far. And we approached half time. I mean, that's not a great time to concede a goal, really. Just before half time. We've been okay. Just we seem to be losing. All right. We've got some work to do. Um, team talk. We haven't been that bad. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for the pundits one again. Um, I'm going to say there's a lot more to come from you. Let's try that. Uh, we might have to try and set up, turn it up a bit in the second half and go attacking. Isbas got the goal, which he kind of got, got made from midfield. So I'd like to see more from this um, attacking threesome here of Rajdan, Malayali and Tudor. They haven't really offered too much. But other than that, you know, it's been okay. It's been a really good game. So I can't be too disappointed. Um, let's go back to balance. Let's just try and, you know, see how things go at the start of the second half and then go from there. Maybe go attacking if things don't quite go well. Malayali are going to try it as his preferred ungonch. That's what he wants to play and it's what his parent club wants him to play. Um, he's got a couple of goals, but I think they have come from midfield. Let's try and fire them up for the second half. And let's see if we can get back into this game. I like a draw here. It would be disappointing to lose at home. Uh, especially against, you know, a team that are vying for promotion like us. We're going to drop to fourth as it stands. Let's go attacking as we are past an hour. And uh, let's make a couple of changes because this is not going well. Rajdan has not been too good and he's also furious. So we're going to take him off. We're going to move Tudor to the right. And we're going to bring on Zaharia. Uh, going to demand more of them and this game is kind of petered out in the second half it was an entertaining first half but we haven't seen hardly anything in the second half we're in the last 10 minutes it's really gone quick Malele is going to come off uh do i have another youngster i can bring on i don't think i do oh, it's only jella okay we'll do that we haven't really got another option i know we've got um, roos at center back so that's fine okay we're going to put kostash behind Ispas. And we're going to go... We're going to go for it. We're going to go two up top. Going to bring on Chipper Liu, uh, Who... What does he play? Um, we'll have him as advanced forward. That's fine. And we'll have Yispas is pressing forward on support. And put Kostas alongside uh, Maximovic. But this game has, has really sort of petered out. And we don't really look like scoring at the moment. We're into stoppage time. We've gone very attacking. And it's really not done anything. And it's going to be a 2 on home defeat. Disappointing result. The first half, we didn't play too badly... It was a pretty even game, but the second half, I don't think we had a single highlight. So that go, that's got to go down as a, as a disappointing one there. A home defeat is never good. So yeah, I'm, I'm not too happy with that. Hopefully we can bounce back in the uh, second game against uh, Galachi and stay in this top six because it's still very tight. I think we're down to fourth after that. So not overly pleased. Uh, we're third actually, so um, there must have been another result somewhere. But as you can see, still extremely tight Bet between the top eight. There's just seven points and, you know, we're only three points ahead of the Dynamo 2 in eighth place. So still anybody really of that top eight could get through into the um, into the playoff group. If we fall out of this and end in the um, relegation group, then I won't be too happy. Even though if we do end up in that, we'll probably be safe because we'll have enough points because... Uh, you still keep all of your points there. So we'll be facing Galachi in our second game of the video. Uh, promoted alongside us from the third division. We need to win really to make sure that we stay in this top six. If we draw, then we could be letting me of any in. Uh, if we win, we'll be okay. If we lose, then we may well be in trouble. So uh, hopefully we can get a result. Uh, Pashon is back. So we'll bring him into central attacking midfield. Uh, Raichi will put onto the bench. Uh, Nagoyesku is also back. Malayale is back. We've got everybody everybody back now. So what's the selection advice? It's suggesting uh, Malayale in for Kostash. I think we'll do that. We'll leave out Raichi. We'll put Kostash onto the bench. Uh, okay, we're fulfilling everything there. That's fine. We'll put Brusanovic back in at centre-back. Uh, we're at home. We should be favourites for this one. Let's see if we can get the result that we need to uh, confirm our place in that uh, playoff group and finish top six. Okay, the stands looking, again, about half full. Maybe we're looking at about 17,000, 18,000 fans here. Um, the away stand there actually looking pretty packed as well, so maybe more. Let's see if we can win in this final game before we split. This is the last team that we uh, to face this season. We faced every other team once. We've got 10 more games against the other teams in the top six. That's if we make it. If not, then we've got to face uh, all the other teams again um, 
in the remaining sort of 14 sides. But hopefully it will be in the top six and into the playoff group. As uh, Razdan comes forward here early on. Could be a nice early goal here if he can get the good cross away. He can. And Tudor has scored uh, just after 30 seconds. What a start to the game that is. Shaim Tudor with his fifth goal of the season. I think he got five last year. Um, but uh, has been sort of sharing that left-hand side with um, Zahari, I think, this season. And Razdan, uh, who I think set up the goal. Certainly had a say in it. 30 seconds in, we've got a 1-0 lead. Hopefully, this will be a nice big win again. We won 5-0 last episode. Let's see if we can do it again. That might be asking a bit much, but let's just win. And then we'll take things from there. Four minutes in. We do have a throw, though, for Dryu to Malayale. Goes backwards. Uh, that was not a good pass. And Radukan is through on goal. And thankfully, Prasanovic managed to track back and block it that could have been horrendous if that had gone in again i think we'll move up to positive we're having lots of possession over a throw here 27th minute of the match here is Pashonel and vidrariu tudor who got the first goal here's maliele uh betcha and east pass with the header but just not quite on target we're just gonna get the table up just so we can see what's going on uh brim fifth place at the moment is very very close is extremely tight and the playoff group as well if we finish in it it could be anybody could get promoted here i'm not sure how many get promoted but literally anybody could go up it's so close there's like four points separating the top six maybe even less than that but first half was good we've got a one nil lead nice and early on let's see if we can build on that and not make too many mistakes. We gave the ball away cheaply at one point. Thankfully, they didn't score from it because we almost gifted them an equaliser. So we need another goal just to make sure that we get through this game. Because if we don't, if we don't win, we might be letting other teams into the top six, and we don't want to do that. Ispas is uh, going it alone here. Managed to hold on to the ball. Goes for goal. Doesn't quite get it right. Uh, Tudor's picked up a bit of a knock. We're going to take him off. Bring on Zaharia. Going to demand more from these guys because this isn't. It's all right. We're 1-0 up. Ocelo haven't had a shot on target yet. But we need to be doing better than this, really. Here is Zaharia, the substitute. Uh, having a free run in this left channel at the moment. And he's just oh, a bit too heavy of a touch there. Greku sends it long. And here's it, Dean Becher. Looks to go over the top. And does find Ispas. And it's 2-0. There's that double of the lead. Uh, great ball by Dean Becher over the top. And Ispas fantastic vision as well to see it and to just sweetly hit it on his right foot into the goal really good we'll see this again better with the ball over the top and Ispas saw it and lovely lovely finish very nice okay that should be enough hopefully let's praise them and let's uh rest some players let's take off Ispas for Chipoli and let's take off Pashonel for Kostas go back to balanced and just try and uh, tie this down now five minutes to go uh oh whatever head it hit the crossbar almost let the goal in there could have been 2-1 but it just hit the bar and another highlight here for galachi in the last few minutes vladimirov his dima and radukan with their header just wide inches wide still got about two and a half minutes here of uh stoppage time wallace with a header forward wallace getting a bit tired at the back there vladimirov on this uh, left-hand side here. And late in the game here, they're really, you know, trying to get forward. Radikan with another header, but it's straight into the hands of Musha. So going to go defensive because we're seeing them on the ball a lot more in these last few minutes. Let's just try and keep this clean sheet. So we have gone defensive. Here is Kostash to Zaharia. And Zaharia going for goal. It was a good effort, actually. It wasn't far off. Rajdan, header to Chipoliu. Here's Malele to Zaharia. Kostash. Malele, Maximovic, he could have had a shot from there. We know we can hit them. He got four from outside the box last time. Good passing play here. I think we've had about a dozen passes in a row at the moment. Back to Wallace. Still like 30 seconds left in the game. Time to get a third here. And if this ended in a goal, that would be a lovely piece of football. <laughs> We're still passing it around. Maximovic to Becher. And Rajdan. And if he can get a good cross in here, this could be 3-0. And it's not quite met with the header by Zaharia. But um, game should end any second now as Radikan coming forward. And they might have a chance to do something here. But it's a good block and it's full time 2-0. And that confirms our place in the playoff 
uh, we're in the top six. Good defensive performance. Did well to keep the clean sheet because they did have a lot of the uh, possession late on there. Um, you know, trying to get um, into the game. They must have really gone attacking to try and get something. But we managed to hold firm, which is really good. And they're very, very pleased, as am I, that we finished in the playoffs. Fifth place in the end. But look how close it is. There's four points separating that top six. We've got ten more matches to play. I'm not sure which ones I'll do on camera. I'll try and mix it with, like, teams that we haven't faced before. Uh, I'll definitely do like the last three, maybe. Um, but I don't know what I'll do about the other ones. I'll do a couple off camera. But, um, I'll work things out. I'll, I'll work out which games to do. Because uh, I don't want to do all ten. I'd like to actually uh, get to the end of the season. So uh, let's see. We'll, we'll think about which ones we're going to do on camera. Anyway, that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, drop a like down below. Leave comments. And if you haven't done so already, or if you're new, do subscribe and turn on notifications. And next time we'll be underway with our um, playoffs. We've got 10 games against the uh, other five teams in this um, playoff group. Uh, and we'll do a few of them on camera. I don't know which ones, um, but we'll see where we finish at the end of the season. But um, a loss and a win today. Uh, we ended up in fifth place, but still very, very tight in that playoff group. Anybody could win promotion. It's anyone's to win. So, yeah, not overly disappointed. It's been a good season, and hopefully we can get through the playoffs and um, really put in a good claim for a promotion. We'll, 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 I'm not won't be fast if we don't get it, but we're going to try our very best. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you soon. Goodbye.